How is it with, uh, with finding the right balance, if I can say that, with, uh, with your teammate? I mean, in the game, you, you, you have to be that individual guy within, within the collective. And, and, and it's not an easy one. I just wanted to know how do you guys cope with it in the, in the Formula One? Your teammates, yet you're individual. You're also individual competitors. Um, I don't get paid to lift the other dude up. In one sense, you want the guy to come second to get the points for the team mm. so that we do win the constructors. But then also that you're conflicted because you sometimes you want the Ferrari guy or someone else to take points away from that guy so it makes it doesn't make it so close. So you're const yeah. you're constantly con you know conflicted because you want to be a team a team player but also you want to win. And it's very, very, very hard. But um, yeah. I think ultimately you know I've got a lot older and now I'm in a place where I feel like there's an opportunity to be a team leader, a leader, be a leader. And I think when I was younger, it was just, you know, me, 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 I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. And now it's kind of like team, you know, if, if I want to earn the spot of being team leader, leading this great big team of over a thousand people, I've sometimes, there's a certain way that I have to conduct myself. And whilst I want to win deep down inside every single race, for example, we just, I finished second the other day, but I'm like, you know what, I got, I make sure the team got a one too. In football, you know that guy also on the bench might have, might have to change the game by, by him coming on, mm. or maybe I get injured and he has to play the last five games that we need to win. Sure. So you always need to give him a lift, give him a lot of advice, but you also, at one point, if you give him too much of it, you, 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 you might be, that guy on the bench. Sure. And sometimes you will find out that once, once that guy plays, then he doesn't look at you anymore. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's where maybe there is a, in bracket, a similarity. P people do not understand that. It's you need to, to be nice with, it, with, with him, mm. but yet you need to show him you will never play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, <laughs> exactly. Thing, I will help you. Exactly. But you will never play. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of, exactly. but it's a weird one. It it's is. a weird one to, but the, to for, you know, for, for, for us, the difficult thing for one is that, imagine like, imagine in football, they had heart rate monitors and, and mm. they recorded your every move, your techniques, your, you know, all your vibrations, all these different things. So you didn't have to have to tell him. He could just go back in the room. And oh, he's doing this. He's, he's yeah, spinning yeah. the ball this way. He's, mm. you know, he's doing this, doing that. So all of your talents are on display. And that's the, the, sometimes the worst thing about Formula 1 because we, they can, he can see everything I do. He can say, yeah, he put it at that level for that. He turned always at that time. Yeah, yeah. So he can copy that. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it makes it a little bit harder to bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But naturally, I still that that difference you have in your heart and your ability still can come through, even if it's diminished a little bit because of that.